you know, in a day like this, a parent can't help but try to re you reflect back what it was like to bring, it's like, we'll <laughs> cry through this, to bring that little baby home. She was this cute little girl who always giggled and smiled and full of energy. The story that's probably the most interesting for Ron and Emily is I knew Ron first before Emily. <laughs> and she came home to live, didn't know what she wanted to do. She really wanted to be a buyer for a fashion house. But the jobs weren't really there, the market wasn't great, she was substitute teaching. She kind of in an exasperated tone said to me, well, I guess I'm just going to have to go play golf with you. And I was like, wait, I'd love another golf partner and I'll get you a lesson. So I asked Ron if he would give her a lesson. I think it was week three, she says, oh, I have a playing lesson. And I said, you have a playing lesson on the course with Ron, really? And the rest is history. Yes. <laughs> Ron, you know I adore you. You are the perfect match for Emily. You're smart, you're kind, you're thoughtful, you like, you like to dress up, uh, you like food and wine, you like to travel, and most importantly, he loves Emily's cats. Tess, and has a special bond with Nina, but that's for another day. This is gonna be just fabulous weekend, so thank you everybody. We are gathered here on this beautiful day to witness the marriage of Ron and Emily in matrimony. This is a great day of celebration and reverence on which we will come together to recognize and commemorate the love and dedication shared between these two people. Thinking about yesterday, Emily, words cannot describe the joy I feel this morning. After eight amazing years of laughing, dancing, cooking, eating, and traveling the world, I am marrying the love of my life, my soulmate. I feel as though I'm the luckiest man that so much good fortune has come my way. Lucky to meet you and your family. Lucky that your first couple of golf lessons went so well. I love you, Emily, and I can't wait to see how beautiful and happy you are as you walk down the aisle later today. With love, bro. <laughs> Sweet. I am certain that the decision to marry you was not only the right one, but the perfect one. It is the greatest privilege to get to love you and know you, to laugh with you and to cry with you, and to build a life with you. I promise to make you and our family a priority. I hope you feel as loved as I do every day. You are my best friend and the love of my life. I can't wait to see you. All my love. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world, my true. I carry your heart, I carry it in my heart. By far, the best thing about Ron and Emily is how they bring out the best in each other, like everyone has talked about today. To be with them is a joy, and it's clear when they're together that they're meant to be together. I started hearing about Ron pretty much as soon as I met Emily, because she brought him up um, every chance that she could, which showed to me how important he was um, to her. You both are a true example of what love and partnership should look like. I can't wait to see what you both accomplish together. So cheers to the best couple around. I love you both so much, and I wish you a lifetime of happiness.
May you be a blessing to each other, sharing each other's dreams, consoling each other in sorrows, and helping each other in all of life's challenges. May peace and beauty surround you both in your journey ahead. By virtue of the authority granted to me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss and go forward as such husband and wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to present you with Mr. and Mrs. Ron and Emily Scheid. the marriage of Ron and Emily, and Sharon and I want to officially welcome Ron to our family. Emily, your mom and I are so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. I think Emily has been planning this wedding since she was in her crib. She is the only little girl that we know of to actually need replacement pairs of black patent leather shoes just in case you have a little girl in your future. I have that pair to start you out with, and if you need more, let me know. Emily and Ron Keep me going, Shea. keep me going. Keep me going, keep me going. Keep me going, keep me going. Till the wheels fall. basically chasing after Ron, trying to keep up. But one thing he didn't beat us to was both Mike and I beat him to getting married. But I think the reason for that was because he was waiting to meet Emily and uh, she was definitely worth the wait. It's a little nerve wracking standing in front of a room filled with so many good looking people. And especially you, Emily. You're absolutely stunning and welcome to the Shy Band. Anyone who knows Ron and Emily sees how much of a perfect match they are for each other. To Ron and Emily. Obviously, I'm really, really, really thrilled to get to spend it with you, but uh, same thing with you all. It, you all come from really special places in our lives, and uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of our hearts for making the trip and, and the joyful toast and everything, so thank you all. 